Well, good damn afternoon, Americans. Are you worried about the future of the U.S. economy? With so much uncertainty in the air, it's natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. But there's one asset that stands the test of time, gold. For centuries, gold has been a hedge against market volatility and economic instability. With the gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, you can harness the power of a precious metal to help protect your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Diversify your portfolio with a tangible asset that has real value. Setting up your gold IRA has never been easier with Noble Gold Investments, streamlined process, and expert guidance. This election year, don't let election volatility and uncertainty keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. Noble Gold Investments will give you up to 10 one-ounce silver Trump coins or a 10-ounce silver American flag bar if you open a qualified account. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. That is noblegoldinvestments.com. And there's always a risk of investment. There's no guarantee of any kind. What's going on, everybody? Make sure you give me a follow on X at green underscore Jericho. Like and subscribe to my new channel, Green's House. New things are happening around here. I hope you like. I am pissed. I'm hot, as my dad would say. I'm mad as a wet hen. Why? Damn it, Obama, that some bitch, Barry Obama. He sure knows how to insult black folks for being the first black president. Being for the black community, he sure knows how to insult black folk. And in this particular situation, this particular instance, he's insulting black men. Why? How? I was always told you you get more bees with titties. No. Hold on. That's not it. What do bees make? Oh, yeah. You get more bees with honey. <laughs> My bad. The titties will get bees, too. But instead of using a welcoming lang using welcoming language, He's using insulting language for those of us, those of, I guess, us. He's not talking to me because <laughs> I ain't voting for that bitch. But he was talking to black men who need to start voting for Kamala. And instead of being welcoming and, and, and speaking to their intelligence, no, no, no. No, no, no. Watch your step, everybody, because here comes a guilt trip. Pack your bags. Make sure you got your toothpaste and your clean undies because you're going on a guilt trip. She has no policy. They can't tell you she's done this for you. She's done that for you. Because she's done nothing. Because she is nothing. Because her head is full of nothing. She is a vapid turd. But that's neither here nor there. She needs to be in the White House. The powers that be, the puppet masters, need her in the White House. So they're going to do everything they can to get her in the White House, to get her Indian, Irish, slave-owning ass in the White House. That's right. Miss Black Woman, Miss HBCU sorority. Her family owned slaves. You guys have seen that video of Angela Davis? She's this pro-black uh, uh, activist from the 70s. There's a famous picture of her in a courtroom with a big old afro, and they sat down with her on 23andMe and said, bitch, your family was on the Mayflower. You got white pilgrim's blood in you, girl. Couldn't take it. Said, this can't be right. This can't be right. Oh, it's right. You didn't expect that when you swabbed your cheek with that that Q-tip, that you get that kind of news. Same thing for Kamala Harris's family. They were slave owners, 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 owners. So what the hell is Barry doing now? Now that Mike let him out of his, his manly grip to go out into the world, what's Barry doing? Barry had a, a campaign stop. You know, he's out there trying to help Kamala, trying to help his sister, girl, get in the White House. And he had this young group, this group of young black men uh, standing around him. 
And he was telling them basically how disappointed he is that they're not voting for Kamala, that they don't plan to vote for her, that he's hearing from different sources in the community that black men aren't doing their part. Black women are doing fine, but you black bucks aren't doing what you're supposed to do. So they're pulling out the big guns. They're pulling out Barack Obama. He's the first black president. Don't even look in his face. Avert your gaze. You cannot gaze upon the visage of the chosen one, Barack Obama. So if Barry can't do it, nobody can. But how does, how does that saying go? How does the chant go? Barry, Barry, his wife's a man. If he can't do it, nobody can. I think that's how it goes. Pretty close. Close enough. So what did he tell these black men? <laughs> Man, can you believe this shit? Check it out. I'll let you see it yourself. Go ahead, Barry. Tell the black men, the black men, how disappointed in them you are. I'm going to go on ahead and, and just say some, speak some truths if uh -oh. you don't mind. Uh oh. <laughs> because my understanding, based on reports I'm getting from campaigns and communities, well, great line. is that um, we have not yet seen the same kinds of energy and turnout in all quarters of our neighborhoods and communities. As you we saw pieces of fun. shit. Now, I also want to say that that seems to be more pronounced mm. with the brothers. The brothers. So the if brothers. you don't mind, just for a second, I'm going to speak to y'all. The brothers. Right. See, you can't. You can't talk to black folks the same way you talk to white folks. You got to use that language. You got to say it's more pronounced with the brothers because you know Barack Obama talks like this at home. You know what I'm saying? He don't say black man. He says the brothers. He don't say he don't say black women. He says sisters because it's all about the brothers and the sisters. Man, if you don't shut your Harvard ass up and say that when you have a choice that is this clear. <clears throat> when on the one hand you have somebody who grew up like you, knows you. Uh oh. Middle class went neighborhood. To college with you. Uh -huh. With you. Understands the struggles and pain from those experiences. With you, not with you. With you. Who's had to work harder mm -hmm. and do more mm -hmm. Cause you's a negro. overcome because uh -huh, you're a negro and achieves the second highest office in the land mm, 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 mm. and is putting forward concrete proposals mm -hmm. to directly address the things that are vital in our neighborhoods and our communities. Mm -hmm. from housing uh -huh. to making sure that our, our, our mothers and our fathers and our grandparents can afford medicine. Well. And, and making sure that we are dealing with prices that are too high. Well. Prices that are too high. Mm -hmm. and, and are committed to mm -hmm is committed to making sure that we maintain the Affordable Care Act. So mm -hmm. everybody's got help here. And cares about things like education and entrepreneurship in our neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. And that's on one side. And on the other side, you have someone who has consistently shown disregard, mm -hmm. not just for the communities, but for you as a person. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, Hold on, hold on, brother. <laughs> Before you continue, hold on, brother. So what you saying is Kamala, our sister girl, that strong black woman, she going to watch out for the black men, for the black woman. She going to make sure that your old ass parents can get their medicine. 
We gonna make sure that everybody got access to health care, even though eighty percent of people was happy with their health care. Mm-hmm. And on the other side, on the other side, you got a white man that ain't done nothing but hold disdain in his heart for your black ass. So you got a black woman on one side and a white man that ain't your black ass on the other. Thank you, brother. Go on, brother. How about sit down? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you better get your black ass to them pole. <laughs> hmm. Wasn't that something? Huh? Trump and Rolling Wasn't Spole. that huh? Yeah. That was beautiful. That was a black man telling you what you need to do with your vote come November. And if you don't vote for that black woman or Indian, Irish, then you ain't black. You a sorry motherfucker. So basically what he was telling them was, I'm disappointed in you that you are not giving more support to Kamala. I do not like the fact that you guys are waking up and getting off the plantation. You better keep your ass on that damn plantation, boy. Barack Obama is the real life Samuel L. Jackson from Django Unchained. You can't let these niggas get off the plantation. And the rest of the federal government, the powers that be, the people who are pulling his strings are Don Johnson from Django. Obama is an overseer. He makes sure that the slaves that are on the Democratic plantation are doing what they are supposed to do at all times, making sure that they're saying what they're supposed to say at all times. And if you don't, you may incur the wrath of Barack Obama. He said that she grew up with you, not with you. Don't you think somebody from Harvard? Ooh, ooh, don't the black folks in that room look like they say with you? Does anybody in that video look like they say with you? Grew up like you. We all grew up in a middle class neighborhood with firefighters, teachers, nurses, and construction workers who love their lawns. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they love their lawns. Everybody's neighbor, those are the only people. I think that shit is so funny that when you hear them talk, they always talk about firefighters teachers and construction workers like those are the only three professions that people have in this country not cooks not sanitation workers not teacher assistants not case workers social workers none of that the only jobs are firefighters teachers and construction workers but she grew up like you she went to college with you she shared the experiences of pain and joy. Why is the black experience in America, and I'm just using that stupid ass term, black experience, because they do, but why is the black experience always full of pain? Why are we always downtrodden? The movies they make about black folks' history in this country, never positive, 12 years a slave, the help, whatever stupid, Stupid ass movie that was that Terrence Howard made. Oh, come on, man. About the black swim team. Why is our story always full of pain and distress and oppression? We never had any good times in this country. Any good times? None. We always have the white man's boot on our neck. Well, that white foot is, a, is replaced with a black one. Because Barack Obama said, black man, you're not doing your part. You need to vote for Kamala Harris simply because she's black, which she's not. But that's what they think of us. It's scramble time. It's the 11th hour. I'm going to do a, a video after this that talks about Kamala Harris and Tim Wall's plan 
for the black man. Oh, oh, shit. Not all men, not all Americans, they have a plan just for black men. You know, you got the hair care stuff just for men. Well, this is just for black men. And it is full of some of the most insulting, degrading bullshit you've ever heard. So stay where you are, because I will do that video next. What do you think? What do you think about black men being lectured and chastised by Barack Obama? Because last time I checked, I'm a fully grown man. I pay taxes. I have a family and a wife and a mortgage. I don't need you to tell me shit, Barry. I do what I want. I'll vote for whoever the fuck I want. You can kiss my ass. The fuck do you think you are? Oh, you better uh, vote for Kamala because uh, she's black and uh, so are you. That's the dumbest reasoning I've ever heard. That's right up there with black folks saying, oh, well, we took the, the N-word and made it a term of endearment. <laughs> That's the new short yellow bus is stupid ass shit like that. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Give me a follow on X at green underscore Jericho. Like and subscribe to my new channel, Green's House. I am Jericho Green. Man, no.